So praise God. Uh, just checking in this morning. Uh, this is W. V. Stanley, uh, Wendell Stanley, A.K.A. Uh, man of God. Uh, it's got a word God gave me a few days ago. Can't even tell you exactly when He gave it to me, but I've been uh, just meditating on it, chewing it, regurgitating it, chewing it. And today I got some specific actions I'm going to take today. It's going to be by faith. Um, he told me it's plant a seed in the weed. Now, if you're familiar with the parable sower whether in Luke chapter 8 or also uh, over in Mark 4, which is my favorite uh, gospel to read it from and study it from, uh, that the sower went on, he went out sowing the word. And, and there's a parable that unfolds and talks about these four different type variations of grounds and what happens when that word uh, gets in there. Uh, and, and we know from the book of Isaiah that the word of God never returns void. Uh, however, we also know that once it goes to the earth, there are certain atmospheric and terrestrial conditions that it goes into and so although it doesn't return void sometimes the effect of the word is not exactly what is ideal and that's why in 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 in, in the practicum uh, farmers actually uh break up soil first that's why they nourish it put right they, they do different things with different uh, uh nourishments and, and uh, uh i guess what they call uh vitamins supplements or whatever to get the ph level uh, to where it needs to be, uh, the conditions of the soil got to be right to get the maximum harvest. And so, when we deal with uh, urban urban uh, dilemmas or urban crises or urban risk zones uh, in cities where mostly minorities have been uh, redlined historically, uh, and then we're in the process of gentrification to take place in those areas now cyclically across cities, uh, been going on for decades now, and, and just rolling into the mid-level cities like Omaha, Nebraska, where I live now. Uh, if, if we're going to go in and make a difference and, and, and bring transformation uh, to bring community wholeness, health, and well-being to the souls that have been victimized by those type of systems, uh, then we, we're kidding ourselves. We're not going to get our hands nasty. And I think that's what the Lord is meaning in one sense, that if I'm going to plant a seed, the adulterated word of God into a weed, into the weeds, that means I can't be too, uh, I would say, judgmental about who I associate with or who I who I look at with eyes of compassion or who I even let in. Um, there's one place in the Bible where in, in, the, in the parables when Jesus was teaching where the, the disciples pointed out some tares that had been put in the wheat. And uh, they want to know if you want us, to, if it's important that we get those out. But his parable went to the extent uh, that, no, I don't want you to get those out. Let them alone. Let, let the angels deal with that at the end of the age. Let God deal with that. With his with his uh, labor force, uh, we're not here to judge. We're not here to critique or decide who's going to make it and who's not. We're here to plant seed, the water, and it's God, our God, who gives increase. So, uh, through acts of obedience, I, I can't disclose for confidential reasons, business concerns, and what have you. I'm gonna be quiet and mind my own business. But I did want to let you know what, when you hear about it uh, uh, in the grapevine, so to speak, uh, that I, I I very deeply believe that I'm right in the center of God's will. Uh, my Lord, my master, one who saved me from iniquity and sin. But if you see me associating with those who don't quite look like they, they fit that bill, that's okay. And just know that uh, we're, we're, we're taking the word of God where it needs to be so it can cultivate and nourish that ground and bring that ground to a point where it will bear fruit and it's due in due season. God is faithful. The question is, are we? Anyway, have a blessed day. This is WV Stanley TV. Uh, you catch me on my website at wvstanley.com. Uh, and I'm also right now on Patreon. So go over there and check out the different tiers of support as you get involved and help me bring uh, revolution, uh, eternal revolution to uh, urban communities of America uh, with a new campaign we're calling Ur uh, United C Cities of America. At any rate, uh, again, this is Wendell signing off. Have a blessed day. Uh, get at me if you need anything. Thank you. Bye-bye.